Indian tennis player and former world number no. 1 in doubles Sania Mirza, who is training for her comeback post her pregnancy, revealed what made her number no. 1 in the world and set her apart from others. Speaking during a panel discussion of Women Shaping the Future, organized as part of the 35th annual two session of the Fiki Ladies Organization, Mirzar said she is an ambitious person and is the best version of herself which makes her an achiever and that made her the number one in the world. I'm a very ambitious person but I think that everybody's ambition and achievement or sense of achievement is different. I think you can't really compare uh, my achievement to Sonam's or to Karuna's or to Zoya's. I think everybody's achievement is different um, of what they believe it is. And it doesn't mean that you have to be the best in the world to be an achiever. I think you have to be the best that you can be to be an achiever. So whatever you know you think is the best and if so whenever I go on the court, I probably I'm obviously not the best tennis player ever to walk on earth. But am I the best version of myself? Yes. And that's what made me number one in the world. So I think that and I think that even if I didn't get to number one in the world, even if I was 2000, if that was the best version of myself, then that was it. And that was an achievement for me. So as a kid, whenever, when I was growing up, like there was never one day we sat and were like, okay, from today onwards, we're going to become a professional tennis player. When I was eight, you know, I played one match, I remember, where I beat a girl who was 16 years old. And when I went on the court, she called me and she said, let's play box tennis because I was really little. I was a small kid. And I said, I don't know why she's asking me to come and play this in this small box. And then I ended up winning the match, you know. And I remember her crying. Like, that's the only visual I had in my head. And poor thing, like, I, right now I feel like poor thing. At that time, I was like, you know, I had a crowd of 100 people. And I was like, oh, my God, this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> so I think for me and my parents were proud of every achievement, whether I was 8 or whether I was you know, 25 when I became number one. So I think that's, that's a sense of achievement that I have. So everybody has their own sense of achievement.